Christmas truce was actually a series of unofficial ceasefires along the front and a brief celebration of the holiday with gestures of goodwill and humanity between the enemies. A more formal Christmas truce had in fact already been suggested by no less than Pope Benedict XV three weeks earlier, but the warring nations refused such an official act. This brief meeting of enemies as friends in no man's land was something that thousands of men experienced on that day 100 years ago, and today, that event is often seen as a shining moment of sanity that stands out from the rest of the bloody war, a spontaneous effort by the lower ranks to create a general peace that could perhaps have blossomed... On the eve of December 24th, 1914, a remarkable calm settled over the trenches in the Western Front. Soldiers on both sides of the war were weary from the constant bombardment and harsh conditions of war. The frozen and barren no man's land separated the trenches. Soldiers began to sing Christmas carols. Haunting melodies of silent night filled the cold night air. Slowly, soldiers cautiously emerged from their dugouts, drawn to the shared humanity reflected in their music. Enemies became comrades, and the barriers of war seemed to momentarily fade away. The truce extended beyond mere musical exchanges. Soldiers traded small gifts, they shared food, and engaged in games like football. The hostility that had just defined the relationship days before transformed into a temporary camaraderie fueled by the universal desire for brotherhood. Yet, as quickly as the truce had begun, it ended. Commanders on both sides, fearing the erosion of military discipline, swiftly reestablished the boundaries of war. Soldiers, who had for a brief moment shared a Christmas celebration, returned to their trenches, resuming the conflict that would persist for several more years. The Christmas truce of World War I, though fleeting, left an incredible mark on the individuals who experienced it. In addition, it left an incredible mark on European history leading forward. It served as a reminder that even in the darkest moments of European history, the spirit of goodwill and a desire for peace can transcend the barriers of war. The soldiers who participated in the truce, if only for a brief respite, were able to glimpse into the shared brotherhood that unites all Europeans. In conclusion, the Christmas truce of World War I remains a symbol of resilience and that of the European spirit. It serves as a reminder that even amid the most brutal conflicts, there exists a universal longing for brotherhood, peace, and the recognition of our shared faith. This historical event, though temporary, stands as a testament to the power of those men and the individuals who rose above, if only for a moment in time. Sleep in hell.